Okay. It's Thursday. The day that I, I need this game to thought out for me to get me some matrices. We've done this a few times. We've been having no success. All right. So let's just look in the let's look what we had, you know, previously, you know, before we we take our chances in this video. We're gonna actually run a JO on video. Right? But let's look in the backpack first off, right? So we knew we were trying to get the four piece marrow. You're like, oh man, you finally got it. It was not from this join ops. I have done one off screen, right? So I have a total of 38 of these chests open. Now, if you want to count the um the one I opened that was two that was in like um a JO7. Okay, I don't count that. And I don't count the one that was uh not the third chest. So if I add those, that is 40 chest openings that had zero matrices. Now I'm told it's guaranteed at 33. Well, I'm not I'm not writing things on the back of a Walgreens, you know, receipt, okay? No one's trying to do that. So if someone if someone's taking their time to go out the way to do this, really trying to get an understanding on what's going on. Hey, that's me. I'm B Tactics. We're gonna be running a join ops today. Good old Thursday join ops. Now, I don't mind who I run it with. I just know as soon as I get in here, in here as long as it's four people, it gets completed. That's the one thing I've been liking about um, join outs for me. I'm not saying everyone has the same success and the same story to tell. I'm not saying that. What I can say is, even when I joined in the join outs and somebody quit after opening the first chest, they need to get a penalty for at least an hour if they join in and quit after opening that first chest. All right, there gotta be some sort of timing there. It should be like, oh, you quit within the first five minutes. Yo, just say, hey, you can't do join outs for the rest of the day. You may say, yo, you're being extreme. Is it really that hard to not quit in a join ops? Like, that, that's the real question. Like, I, I think I think I'm being very logical because no matter what, someone will quit. And their um their time period for quitting is what? Um 30 seconds the first time? Then the second time they get they get two and a half minutes. I mean, if you only want to go on for the first chest, wait. Wait, if you only want to go on for the first chest, why aren't you just going in the solo? Okay. If you if you ask that question in the chat below, hey, y'all got me, because I honestly don't have an answer. <laughs> like, like I'm over here trying to talk and I just hit myself with an un, a unanswerable question in the way. Cause you could do it on your own. How do I know? I've done that before. When I was on Benediction, I queued in solo by accident. And I was not aware that I didn't have four of the players. Because I was too silly to check. I realized I was by myself. Like, at the second boss. <laughs> but that's not what we're here to talk about. What I'm, what I'm trying to state is, if you can get four players at this point, you're all at at least 50k. You should have an easier time clearing it, of course. A benediction helps. Uh, Forty-two could help. Having a balance even helps. I know most people don't like balanced characters. I have a new love for balanced characters. All right. I recently played balance. I played with a group of players. One was a uh, forty-two, which I mean. So I didn't. I don't have any attack weapons. So I played balance, and I did good damage. Now, am I saying I'm about to be the next whale? No. Like y'all know it. They they got the they got the uh, the decent gear. With maxed out matrices, maxed out weapons. I ain't got it like that. Now, if I did, man, that'd be pretty nice. But I don't, right? But I have a new level of balance. Of course, I don't pay attention to this. Push the button. You gotta forgive me. I'm on controller. How can you tell? I got that big old ugly button up there that says, hey, I'm a blue donut. And I don't feel like doing anything to make life good for you. Wow, okay, that's quick. All right. Thank you, thank you for the uh, the quick carry. So this ain't gonna be that long of a video. And see, I'm skipping that first chest, right? Why? I'm trying to get the optimization on getting that matrix. Am I gonna get it? I mean, I'm hoping. You know, I ran this thing 38 times for the third chest only, so I'm kind of hoping I get it. But 
I'm not going to say beggars can be choosers. I'm not going to say it's 100% chance at 33. And if anyone's going to say, no, you guarantee at 33, please look back at some streams I had. And you'll see me talking about this in videos. And then the question be, why would I lie? You know, that's the real question. Why lie? Just for some clicks? I mean, I guess people would do that for some clicks. So I, I guess that'd be a good reason. But for me to talk about this for three weeks, I think it's been like the third week. At some point, like, no, nah, there's people who rage about nothing. So I, I guess y'all got it. But just look at my history and videos in general. You will look at me playing other games. I'm I'm one to say I can be incorrect. I'm not perfect. I done a stream about this. I did, I made videos about this. Um, my crew watched me um go through this. Random players um been actually asking me about my luck about this. So it's like I'm kind of being asked about this now. Now, I'm not saying, oh, I'm some popular guy by any means. No, I'm not. It would probably be like maybe a dozen at most to ask me about this. A dozen. Man, egg cartons have a dozen eggs. So, I mean, if you think that's a lot of eggs, hey, a lot of people ask me. If that's not a lot of eggs, hey, not a lot of people ask me. But at least we're getting through this really fast because they're just going to demolish everything. I don't have to worry about uh, any kind of... Yeah, I don't have to worry about anything. All I gotta do is make sure, make sure I get. Oh, look, this someone actually from my own server. What's up? I take that aggro back. Wait, how can you take an aggro? Well, I'll just do this then. There. That is kind of crazy. I took aggro so easily from me. Quite an attack, isn't it? How do you take aggro so easily? Oh, jeez, I'm trying to uh. Oh, all right. We didn't have range in time. Don't you hate when you try to push a button to do something and it doesn't work? So you just like sitting there looking silly when you're doing the move? Yeah, I just did that. Here we go. Double spin to win. I've been liking this. I've been seeing my damage numbers go up. Now, is it huge? No. Can I probably have something better for attack? I don't know to be honest. I only got that one star. But hey, let's see if making a video makes a difference. Let's open the green one first. All right, come on, Matrix. 38 times? Come on. 39th time gotta be the charm. 39th time was a charm. So now we know that it's not it's not necessarily 33, but if you keep at this, you can get a matrix. Right? Let's actually look what we got. Right? So now we can upgrade this. Cost 20,000. It sounds like a lot, but I mean, look at the stat difference. <laughs> we're, we're almost jumping up to like 90 attack. We're jumping 346 to 433. Right? That is 87 attack up. Just in the matrix. On the matrix. You might say that's not that much. But just getting a dupe? That's a lot. 183? That's a lot. Well, 187? That's a lot. And then the health. Look, I'm not going to try to add that up. Just, let's just say um, we got an extra 4,000 health or something like that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to do that math right here on my head. There we go. Wham. Right? Oh, oh, it does the math right there. Oh, I lied. I said 187. No, it's 87 and 4,253 attack. I mean health. Oh, that's not a lot. I mean, look, you keep getting it on your different matrices. Yeah, I'm talking about more than one. You get to hold 12 of these things, right? Um, How many of these have health? One, two, okay. So 12 matrices out of four, two of them have health. So 12, Um, divide, divide that by two, you get six. So half. So you got six matrices to get yourself some health and attack, and that stacks up. You get their attack here too, that'd be nice. But now we're getting a little more matrices. That's a great look. Hopefully y'all been getting matrices. I doubt that y'all want to be grinding um, join ops. Cause even though I got it, I still don't know if I can actually recommend grinding for it, but I'm starting to think that um 
You can grind it. Well, no, no. I don't want to say I'm thinking this because I haven't tried it yet. I'm told that if you want to get matrices, what you do is uh, you just grind them out, right? Whichever day it is, they don't add up together. But from my experience, when I run a JO, and if I go to the next one, I drop the matrix. Um, Y'all remember last, last time I talked about this? I grinded for like a matrix the longest. And I got so annoyed, I just gave us, you know what? What the heck? I'm never going to get a matrix. I do a join up on Friday, and then I get a Samir matrix. Right? So I'm like, great. Well, I'm told it doesn't carry over to the other uh, jails, so I should still be fine getting that Merrill matrix as you saw, right? Yo, I just did this 39 times, so I'm, it's really hard for me to say, hey, it transfers over. Someone else can give you all the mathematical equations in the world, that's great. But I want you guys to try it. If you try it and you don't see that happening, that's your experience. No one can tell you that you're wrong in your experience. Now, look, that don't mean it's correct for everybody else, okay? I want to make sure that. I'm not saying what just happened for me is going to happen for you. It's going to happen for the next um, person, you know? I, I can't say these things. But what I can say is... It is possible to get matrices and join ups. It's possible to get matrices and world bosses. If you're doing world bosses, please just focus on one. Don't do a bunch. So let's say, for example, you're doing so back, you really want that crow. Please don't go with the Barbarossa and then open it, get a Merle matrix, and then hope that you're going to get a crow matrix. Don't take that chance. Right now, I'm just not taking chances anymore. If somebody wants to give me different math, I'm, I'm open to hearing it out. But again, it's really hard for me to go against my experiences. But yeah, tell me what matrices y'all looking for. Tell me if you got any duplicates. Maybe you got duplicates and you're not aware you haven't gotten. You didn't place them on. And all of a sudden, your CS goes up by like 5K. And everyone's like, yo, what happened? Do you just like drink the steroid drink? You're like, nah. You know, but yeah, tell me your experiences on the game with matrices. You know, well, matrices. Tell me how it is for your weapon upgrades. It's, it's, Anything, if it's a good experience or a bad experience, maybe we can help each other out. But yeah, till then, happy grinding, happy gaming. I'll catch our next stream in our video. Thank you for watching the video, like and subscribing, because you can put that subscribe button is right over here. And don't forget, you can watch the videos over here. I want to see you in there too, all right? You enjoy yourself.